what is going on and i think there's a lot of smudges on my camera probably from welding the other day huh all right well if it's blurry i apologize guys there's a bunch of a uh, splatter on my screen that i can just now see from welding or uh probably grinding i have no idea but anyway welcome back to the channel if you guys are new to the channel i am senate steve and today we're gonna kind of take it back old school i don't know if you guys are new to the channel or old to the channel but what i used to do is i used to do car sales and i also used to you know fix cars here and there well a buddy of mine actually reached out to me and said hey steve uh my car actually won't start uh i do believe and he believes that it's a starter so i'm gonna run over there um we're gonna take the trailer too just in case um because if it's not a starter I'm gonna bring it back to my house and then we're gonna get it fixed and everything like that and back up the snuff for him. Right, so we're just gonna take the trailer right now, toss it on and just be done with it. So let's get the Civic off of the trailer and uh, start our day. I literally almost forgot to do a merch plug and uh, well, here it is. So this is the knife that I've been carrying now for probably the last couple days. And uh, it's orange and black, obviously an EMT knife. It's definitely on the website now. Uh, so definitely check it out, www.sendestevemerch.com. Somebody will win this OBS truck. Every dollar spent, as you see on the screen, is an entry to win this OBS truck. So you can get knives, you can get stun guns, you can get anything. I also have a few signature knives on there also, which I actually signed. So if you want that, you can jump on over, get some merch, and uh, get entered to win this OBS truck. I'll uh, put in a couple clips of it here now, and uh, we'll then roll the footage for today. Get your entries while you can. Ends December 16th. Sort of acting like he wants to start. However, he is not actually started, and uh, he's been sort of a nightmare ever since I got him back from uh, Cole's Regal Metalworks. So we're gonna go ahead and do a compression test here later on this week, but for now, I've got to get him off the trailer, so we're just using the Urban Bourbon, and uh, we're just going to yank him off. But again, this roll cage looks incredible, guys. A huge shout out to Regal Metalworks again. Um, I think I'm more pumped like you guys are that we have a steering column again. So let me just start yanking on the Suburban and get this thing off the trailer. So we got the Civic back here and uh, I mean, even on the trailer, the Bruce is still bigger, but we're not here to talk about the Bruce. The F450 did amazing as usual. Um, I didn't record much of us getting it on the trailer, but uh, I did do some recording. So uh, basically what we have here is a no start issue. Doesn't click, doesn't do anything. So. It does lead me that it does need a starter. We're gonna check a few things out here and uh, see what we can do and uh, see if we can't get a new starter put in this thing today. Before you get started on anything like this, if you're gonna do starter or anything electrical, go ahead and disconnect the battery. Um, now on a vehicle like this, it does have a radio code, so you'll probably have to uh, look at the owner's manual and hope it's written down, or like I said, this guy bought this car brand new, so he probably has it laying around, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, plus, I already checked, and since they put a battery in here, it uh, has a radio code error anyway, so we're okay to disconnect the battery, but definitely always disconnect the battery before you get under your starter. So let's go underneath and uh, start taking her out. And as you can tell here, they did put a battery in here, but it's still corroded pretty bad. Um, you can definitely see it on the back side there. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this terminal up before we get it back. I'm gonna pop this one off too ahead of time just to you know clean it up, and make sure everything's nice before we give it back to him so we know he's ready for the winter time. So now we'll go underneath and get the starter out. Alrighty, before you get started, what you're gonna need is, before you get started, what you're gonna need is, I got a 12 uh, millimeter socket here, 10 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket, 17 millimeter wrench, 19 millimeter, you don't really need an impact, but if you have a uh, wrench, you can use that, and you don't really need both of these. You can, one, one or the other will work. Um, a lot of people don't have the electric cordless, but they work. Uh, you need something to get your axle out, and a hammer to get your axle out. So, let's get her started. Alrighty, so I have determined that it is the starter, and uh, first thing you're going to want to do is get it up in the air, get your jack stand under it, and uh, you know, get under here, and I'll show you the location. In the back, up above the axle. So these aren't really the easiest ones to do or the funnest ones, but 
when there's a job to get done you got to do it so i'm not sure if you can see like right up here there's going to be a bolt and then there's a bolt right there those two uh will be able to remove it and you're probably gonna have to pull the axle out um i'm just gonna go ahead and remove it because it's gonna be easier plus being on the hill here i know no fluids will leak so uh let's just go ahead and start getting everything out All right, and this is why I take the axle out is because I'm coming in right where the axle would be and uh, you can literally reach the starter, all the wiring and everything once it's, you know, disconnected. Um, like I said, there is two bolts. One of the bolts is going to be up on top. Um, it would be up in the, like this area up here. And then the other one is very simple to get to right on the bottom and they are both 14 millimeter bolts. So now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the wiring from here and get the new starter got the brand new starter let's get it all back let's get it all reinstalled got the new starter let's get it reinstalled Alrighty, well we got the new starter in place now we'll go ahead and toss the axles and everything back in get this thing back together and back to the customer it's a very simple job you can do it in your driveway um like i said i always pull the axle just because it's easier but uh good to go for now let's get this thing back together Alrighty, moment of truth here. Oh yeah, back in business. All right, let's get her down, get the wheels torqued and uh, call my buddy and tell him he has his car for the weekend. I love being able to help people out when I can. Alrighty guys, well there you have it. We, you've got the Civic done, it is running. It, it's actually a fairly simple job. And I know some of you will say, oh, well, you didn't have to pull the uh, axle out to do that. No, you did not. You could have actually maneuvered it out either through the top or you know another way out through the, above the axle. But it's just easier to get the axle out of the way. It's, you know, like I said, it's just easier to do. It might take an extra three steps, but it makes this job so much more easy. Um, as you can tell, I got it done in about two hours, maybe two and a half hours with running it in parts and coming back. So it's not a terrible job. If you have a starter that goes out in your Honda Civic, you can now do it yourself. It's very, very simple, guys. I showed you the tools to do it. I showed you the time frame. And uh, who cares? If it takes you three and a half hours, get out there and do something yourself. Save yourself some money and learn. But there you guys have it. If you like the content, please smash that like button. Please subscribe. And do not forget, guys, do not forget. I know you guys are going to hate this merge plug until it's over, but somebody will win the OBS truck. Every dollar you spend on SendItSteveMerch.com is an entry to win. So get your entries before December 16th at midnight because it's going to come quick, guys. I, I know it, it might not seem like it is going to, but December 16th will be here before you know it. Get your entries while you can. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.